For individuals such as Mr. Pattison, it is very important that they do receive treatment, or at least the ability to receive treatment. Our goal is to protect the public. In order to protect the public, offenders need to receive treatment. He was assessed as a low risk from the get-go, which prohibited him from receiving any sort of treatment while he was in custody. Had Mr. Pattison received programming or the opportunity to receive programming and continue to offend, we would be in a much different position than we are today. However, he wasn't afforded that opportunity. And so on a go-forward basis, it is now up to Mr. Pattison whether or not he avails himself of the treatment and programming that will be made available to him. Institutionally, he was requesting treatment. He did so all along and he remains doing so. And he wasn't able to, to get it. And I think, uh, you know, you don't want to play, place the blame uh, too far away from the uh, offender in this case, as he, he bears the most blame. But one wonders where, whether the system has failed in that regard. I mean, we obviously want as a society to make our society safer. And part of that evidence indicates is treatment. And treatment wasn't offered to an individual who I don't think uh, we have caught up to internet offending yet. And uh, I think that's part of the problem. It, uh, many times people try to oversimplify it by saying, you know, one offender is exactly the same. And I think that the studies and professionals have indicated that's not the case.